So for today, we're going to be looking at the speaker site for the Warlocks. If you guys don't know, we've already done the Hunter Exotics and the Titan videos. They're both all right here. So yeah, I've done all of them, thankfully, because last time I tried to do all of these videos in one go, my OBS wasn't recording my audio and that was like a month ago. So I finally got the courage or not courage, but I've gathered the strength to do these all again because these are long, dude. These are super long. So, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that also does help quite a bit. But other than that, let's get into it. So before we actually look at what speaker sites looks like, we're going to actually look at what it does first. So the lost voice healing grenades spawn a restorative turret healing allies occasionally spawns an orb of power. So this it's pretty cool actually um i used it a bit when i was farming for the solstice armor and it was pretty fun that being said i don't think it's like i don't find myself using this over other things which is kind of sad because i i feel like healing allies occasionally spawns an orb of power i think that's really weak i think we should have gotten something a little bit better than that that being said you just throw your healing grenade and it just spawns that store the restorative turret so that's pretty cool I just wish the second thing did something a little bit better so that is pretty much it i really have no thoughts about this it's a really cool turret granted it's really really cool and i would love to see how this works with the exotic uh, the hand kind of exotic that heals and gives you a bonus in power and whatnot but yeah i really have nothing to say about this one let me know what you guys think as for how it actually looks um i'm not the biggest fan of it i'm gonna be honest with y'all i don't think it looks bad it looks like super coolish it's just I want to say it kind of looks boring if i'm being honest i think the like japanese armor on the sides uh everything but the plate in the face i think it looks cool it just kind of looks boring as far as shaders the shaders fine like i don't see anything that i'm getting like really annoyed about if anything it looks fine like there's no problems with it it's just one of those like will i use this ever i don't know As for the example set, I ended up going for a Japanese look. So Iron Semiki robes for the arms and boots, Ancestral gloves, and then for the Bond, Lycan Bond. For the shadering, Sato Tribe, because Sato Tribe is the best shader. And I don't think this looks bad. I don't think this looks bad at all. Definitely the wolf females look really weird with it because that, that head looks like almost super huge. But yeah, this, this would probably be the set that I use if I were to end up using a speaker site. I will say the ornament does look better and we will look at that in a bit but overall if you want to use the speaker set I definitely think Japanese themed will look a little bit better just because the uh the plates uh the plate armor on the sides and the every everywhere but the plate in the face does give off that Japanese vibe which is why I went for a Japanese look let me know what you guys think I fucking love this example set it looks so so cool you have two snakes on each side that coil in different directions gives off very roman or greek vibes which is why i fuck with it heavily um for how it shaders it also shit for how it shaders what the fuck as for how it shaders unfortunately the main plate in the face and the snakes take the off color um which is kind of unfortunate but also not as unfortunate as it might be because you can make it work with certain sets but you guys just will notice that it takes the off color which again some people might be annoyed about i'm okay with it just because i kind of have to be okay with it I, there's nothing i can do about it so yeah it's just like whatever i'll work around it unfortunately but speaking of working around it for the example set we're going to be using regal daring now i think this looks really cool because the off color is gold but i do think it looks really cool with this whole set so for the chest piece nemean robes for the arms uh first ascent gloves for the boots hawks fury boots and then for the bond hexer bond so so yeah i definitely think this looks really really cool unfortunately we don't really have like a greek or roman theme or greece theme i don't know it, like around that area we don't have that many uh nemean is probably the best one because if i remember correctly nemean lions was like e oh, oh i might fuck this one up was it greek i don't remember either way like pretty sure it was greek 
pretty sure. Either way, that's probably going to be the best thing that you can go towards. And then everything else is just kind of like, this looks good-ish. Like the first ascent has that like warrior vibe, not specifically Greek or whatever, but close to it, I guess. And then the Hawk Fury, I th just think it looks cool. The Hexar Bond is just a shield, which I was like, fuck it, we'll do that one. So overall, I don't think this looks bad by any means. I think it looks really, really cool. But yeah, I definitely think the ornament looks way better. Let me know what you guys think. This one was shorter than I thought it would be because honestly, I don't really have that much thought. I haven't used this one that much. Therefore, I really didn't have an opinion on it. Um, I just ended up using it the first time like last week and I was like, this is pretty cool. Like the turret shield is really cool or the turret uh, healing turret is pretty cool. It's just not like it's one of those exotics that isn't super flashy. It's just one of those like all in a hard day's work type of shit where it's like it's cool it just doesn't do anything super flashy so let me know what, you, what the let me know what you guys think i'm currently working on a few things first and foremost um currently writing down all of the content that i want my second channel to have because i'm going to start working on my second channel soon which is just uh different games that i play but i'm also working on other things as well i'm currently like trying to expand a little and more so just like expand what i want to do because there's a lot of things i want to do i'm very overly ambitious sometimes and um i want to do the second channel which is just me playing other games and hopefully that will get me into streaming and again because i used to stream and the streaming will definitely be variety with a hint of the destiny 2 fashion and just fashion in general so don't think that I've forgotten about this channel. The streaming would probably be like 80% will be variety and then the 20% will be fashion. And then um, my Discord is also a thing I've been working on the back, in the background. But yeah, there's a bunch of stuff I want to do and I just don't want to regret it because the other thing I want to do is 40k, specifically miniatures. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm into 40k like miniatures and I've been doing mine for a while. I have a a Mayan themed space marine chapter that I'm working on and it's been really rough but it's also been re very rewarding so that's also something I've been wanting to do and I have a channel specifically not for 40k but just like um crafts and shit in general which is called uh studio dead cell um yeah I've been thinking about making another channel for that but it's just I already spread myself too thin with my main channel and my second channel how would i even do that for a third channel so i'm just kind of like up in the air with, with that right now but honestly if i had an editor i would be able to do all three with no with no problem but that's for the future but let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later